piece I'll be playing today is a Heifetz arrangement of Gershwin's in American in Paris. Gershwin's relationship with dance was very much natural due to his sense of rhythm. Oftentimes, he would beat out a complicated rhythm with his fingers, or when he was waiting for an elevator, he'd break into a tap dance. The dancer, Fred Astaire, recalls that when him and his sister Adele Astaire were stuck for an exit step during their fascinating rhythm routine, Gershwin, the musician, jumped out from the piano and demonstrated a move that could work. Gershwin was born on September 26, 1898 in Brooklyn, New York. He died on July 11, 1937 at the young age of 38. He was and is mourned as a great loss to American music. It was his melodic talent, talent and genius for rhythmic invention that made him an important American composer. Gershwin often had his feet planted in both Broadway and classical music. His first hit, the song Swanee in 1919, sold millions of sheet music and earned tens of thousands of dollars. In 1923, his fame exploded when Paul Whiteman asked Gershwin to write a piece for his band. Whiteman wanted to demonstrate the malleability of jazz and show that this new type of music was worthy of admittance to the concert hall. The audience, which included Rachmaninoff and Heifetz, loved Gershwin's piece, Rhapsody in Blue. With it, Gershwin established himself as the composer who was about to bring in the golden age of American popular song. Gershwin's music challenged the common belief that concert hall music was superior to popular music. In March of 1928, George and Ira Gershwin left for Paris. Gershwin already had a few hits on Broadway and began to think of a rhapsodic ballet with a clear title in mind, in American in Paris. Paris in the 1920s boasted its place at the center of the artistic universe. It was a city host to a dazzling array of artists, dancers, musicians, poets, both French and both foreign. Gershwin took every opportunity to meet composers he admired, Stravinsky, Prokofiev, and Ravel. His one month stay was packed full with parties and museums and sightseeing. You can almost hear it in the piece. His hostess, Mabel Shermer, took Gershwin on a shopping trip to the auto supply stores, where he selected several taxi horns to experiment with for an American in Paris. Mabel was fluent in French and could help Gershwin ask for horns with specific notes. It's funny to imagine just Gershwin singing a note and then shopkeeper keeping random horns to match it. In the opening of the piece, the word, the music says the word taxi horns in parentheses over a major second which reminds me a lot of New York. I'm sure you've heard this clock-like sound before. Gershwin had his own opinions as well. He stated, 
If it pleases symphony audiences as a light, jolly piece, a series of impressions musically expressed, it succeeds. True music must repeat the thoughts and aspirations of the people in the time. My people are Americans. My time is today.